welcome to this edition of Kamei Chavi Show. Kamei Chavi Show is a weekly TV program that explores Cameroon and its culture beyond places. My name is Irene Zifon, your host on this program. In this edition of the show, I'm heading to Bonanjo, the administrative neighborhood of Douala, Cameroon, to experience the festival in honor of Rudolf Douala Mangabel, the Cameroonian chief who accepted to be hanged by German colonialists rather than allow them to take over his people's land for Europeans to settle in. Although he hails from the Mangabel royal family of the Dwellers and took over from his father in 1908, Rudolf Dwellers Mangabel is considered a national hero who contributed to Cameroon's independence by his resistance. Each year, on August 8, his heroic action and execution in 1914 is remembered through a cultural festival. And I get to learn some ambassade moves. The festival to observe the anniversary of the death of Rudolf Dwala Mangabel often starts with a gathering where traditional rulers of the Sawa land commune with the community. The event is open to everyone. After this communion, the whole assembly moves to visit his tomb located in Bonanjo Dwala. The march is colorful with everyone dressed in cultural attire. Notably a shirt and loin for the men. and a cover dress for the women, typical of Sawa fashion. And here is the tomb of Rudolf Dwala Mangabel, who lived from 1873 to 1914 when he was executed by hanging for resisting German colonial rule. Before entry to the tomb, there is a protocol to respect.
Meanwhile, at the tomb, The traditional rulers invoke the ancestors to watch over the people, resolve conflicts, and make way for peace in their community and Cameroon as a whole. One is 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 one Everyone present here was asked to hold hands in unity. So I joined in. Cultural ceremony to remember Rudolf Dwalamanga Bell is considered an important event in the history of Cameroon, in particular in Africa at large. It is expected to help people remember the struggle of the late Cameroonian king who contributed to independence. What did the Dwa people celebrate on this day? Uh, the, the 
death of Duala Mangabele, who was a nationalist, a patriot, who died to defend the old the, the Cameroon. No, it's not only the world people, it's the world Cameroon. This is a very important event, and the name Duala Mangabele is one of the founders, one of our, our parents, that our father that we cannot forget as far as Cameroon history is concerned. And it's somebody that lives years after years, generation after generation, will know him. What are the main activities that happened during this day? The principal word which permit us to celebrate this event is the union. Duala Mangabel is a symbol of union, a symbol of patriotism. Cameroonians can copy the courage that he took. He was not selfish. He, 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 he rendered himself for the it's like Jesus. He sacrificed himself for Cameroonians in order to for our territory to be maintained like Africa. After the tomb of Rudolf Dwala Mangabel, the maker stopped at that of Adolf Ngosodin, who was a secretary to Chief Rudolf Dwala Mangabel and suffered the same fate of death by hanging. And here, similar rites are carried out, calling on the ancestors to ensure peace among their people and upon the nation. <laughs> After the tomb of Adolf Ngosodin, I sought to find out the significance of those rites performed by traditional rulers at both sides. What were those traditional rites? This rite is to ask the ancestor to not be very far for us to be around us and to help us to be the country and to have wisdom and knowledge. Uh, some of these things that we need not explain in public, but some of them we are advocating for ancestors to give us uh, happiness, to give us riches, to give us peace, and many other things. Yeah. Was there any message transmitted from the ancestors? is meters of union, the measure of peace, and ask all Cameroonians to work together.
I know that Dwala Mangabel is not only from Dwala, from Sawa, he is the leader, the patriot of well, the world Cameroon, the world Africa. And you have to take it as a model. And finally, there is a reception at the Sheferi, the chief's residence, where there's some entertainment. Not everyone is allowed in here. However, my press card gave me a pass. Plus, time to learn some Mambasi Bay moves, which is a traditional dance of people of the Sawa ethnic group in Cameroon, mainly the coastal region. Thank you. 
So I got a member of the Ambassador Bay Dance Group to teach me some moves. Thank you for watching. To watch upcoming episodes, please do subscribe on YouTube at Kamei Chavi Show. Remember to turn on your notification button so you're notified each time we upload a new video. You can also follow us on Instagram at Kamei Chavi Show and join our Facebook community at Kamei Travel Show. Kamei Travel Show is a production of Media Packages Cameroon, abbreviated MPC.